just gonna go out on a limb and say that we both look terrible. Today I'm here with my lovely sister Livy. Hello, haven't seen me in a while. It's because I gained 20 pounds. You know, it it's it's fine. <laughs> Pit stain check. <gasps> <laughs> Today, Liv and I are going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me almost, but it's going to be very alien inspired. I have on my alien t-shirt. It's actually Brandon's. Really, the inspiration behind this video was that we found this galactic palette at Hot Topic, and it's very similar to the Jeffree Star alien palette. This was $5 at Hot Topic, so I guess we just want to see. How much is that? 50 This is like $52 versus $5. Obviously, probably that one's going to be better but with the whole Area 51 thing, aliens are a hot button topic, so why not? We're also going to the movies later, so I don't know how far out I want to go, but... I mean, it's kind of... We're going tonight. Maybe I'll just, like, make myself look, like, all gory. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking, do I want to do, like, an actual glam look, or do I want to look like an alien? Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, but first of all, I have to show you this that I found. Like, look at these stupid dolls. Ew! I mean, should we make our makeup look like that? We could. I mean, if we... If those came out while we were yeah, like little, we'd probably we want loved that. that. We probably wouldn't be allowed to have it, but we would probably want it. Let's list off the things we weren't allowed to have. Harry Potter. We weren't allowed to watch Harry Potter. Pretty much anything on Cartoon Network. So... Do you want some rose water? <laughs> Oh, you can replay that going straight into my mouth. <laughs> when in doubt, if my eye makeup looks like shit, <laughs> <laughs> if my eye makeup looks bad, I'm just gonna do this because my eyes look like alien that way. Yeah. I can tell you I definitely look like an addict. I've, ha I've always had bad skin. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I've had people like ask me if I'm an addict. Just girly things. <laughs> While Adri is gone, I just want you to know that she is actually a total bitch in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You have to play that laugh back. That was a pretty okay. good laugh on my was end. It, <laughs> it was like. <laughs> <laughs> you still censor the curse words? Um, that's a good question because I do sometimes. If it's the f word, like a hundred percent, it'll be gone. But if it's like shit, maybe not. Cause now Nana watches them, and I'm just like. Like True. there are certain words that don't get demonetized, and it's also weird with the way YouTube works. I learned that if you don't curse within like the first three minutes, you probably won't get demonetized. If you curse like toward the end of the video, it's less likely to be noticed, which I find kind of weird that it's, it can detect it like that. That's but. weird. And also bigger YouTubers get way more leeway, I think. Adria, since your eyebrows are already pretty thin, you should just try to block them out. Like I should try eyebrows. to do like no eyebrows. Yeah. I forgot to pl like shape my eyebrows. I usually don't because I don't really care how I look anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could try to do like pink eyebrows. I feel like I've wanted to try that. Well, I know I would look like... Oh, should we talk about the products we're using? Oh, uh, what sure. foundation I used on my face is the Beauty Blender Bounce Blender. Bounce Blender. <laughs> <laughs> the Bounce Foundation 1.40N. I like to binge on my makeup. That's the one thing I like to splurge on for some reason. I've been liking the Beauty Blender um, foundation. I struggle so hard to match foundation to skin. So then if you have a range that's super limited for certain skin tones, I will just make it 10 times harder than it needs to be. I think a lot of people have the issue where the color on their neck is a lot different than the color yes. on their face. It doesn't matter how dark or how light you are. I am so pink faced, but my neck is very yellow. Well, and I heard a makeup artist say that it's interesting because your face is not one solid color. And I'm like, I never really thought of that, but it's so true. It's, yeah, it is true. Because your face is just like not one solid color. That's why foundation can look so bad when it's even slightly off. Cause it just, your eyes are like, that's not right. I'm just contouring. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some aliens. So first off, do you believe in aliens? That's tough because I feel like my opinion has changed very drastically throughout the years. The one thing that freaks me out was that one time like in 2014 where it was like that spiral in the sky. Yes. It made me think like that NASA's lying about like our Earth. I'm not a flat earther, but like, <laughs> uh, can you just imagine it actually being that way? Like everything we know about outer space isn't true. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around being just 
a wee citizen. I used to love watching Flat Earth conspiracy <laughs> theory videos. The reason why they would lie, we would have been divinely placed here. But maybe the fact I see, that like, we a are speck. Yeah, makes us less. It makes us less significant when you look at it as we are all just here because of a bang. I mean, it's interesting. I definitely don't know. I mean, I'm not a flat earther either, but that's like it's interesting to just hear that and just think about that as a concept. It's weird because then there's some like old paintings with aliens in them. <laughs> I love how like we just like instantly stop talking. We're just like. Okay, I have to go off about this. I heard about- I couldn't find what this was called. If anyone knows what this is called, please Don't hit me up. Things. It's almost like the government- <laughs> Alright, this already sounds super whack. But I'm thinking maybe I should do one eye with this and one eye with that. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Like, and then trying to like recreate the look with the other palette. There's some pretty some. similar shades, like the greens yeah. are similar. I'm trying to purposely. figure out which eye is my ugly eye and but I'm what gonna... were you? <laughs> okay. But I heard about this concept. Maybe the government almost subjects us to things to get us familiar with them. We became so used to the idea of time travel. Like we know what time travel is, but it doesn't exist, right? Making us familiar with these things. Like we know what an alien is and we don't even know if they're real. You hear the word alien and you instantly think of like this. Why? Desensitizing us through media was the whole concept. That's really kind of interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Interesting. So that if there ever were aliens, we wouldn't be super shocked. Like, what even is that? We would already know, like, what it is. I need my tinfoil hat. <laughs> okay, so far this pigment isn't terrible. Like, well, I was gonna say, I, don't, I haven't tried that palette yet, so I don't know for sure. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my eyes look dumb. It looks wonky. I really like this shade, but it's like, it's a matte. It's the Area 51 shade. Super pigmented. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to go for something wacky. Here. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't either. I think I'm just gonna just go for crazy. I'm gonna go in with flying saucer, which is so cute because look, it's like a flying saucer pick. Like I'm kind of going for like green and pink, I think. I'm going for green and purple. My, My eyes are home. <laughs> They're not gonna look the same. Anymore. No, mine either. <laughs> we might just end up taking this shit off. So I asked on Instagram for like some questions and or topics to talk about. What's the funniest moment you and Livy have together? That's kind of hard because there's probably a lot. Listen, I've known her for 22 years of my life. It's like, wow, we just hate each other. We just don't hang out. <laughs> maybe I should go get like my beauty killer palette to do like pink for my eyebrows. Or maybe I should don't just... cheat. This is going to look so bad. I mean, me and Adria just kind of have funny moments sporadically throughout our entire day where we just say something totally stupid that no one else would find funny at all. Pretty much. Like we both have a super dry sense of humor. I was about to to do my other eye. Um, I know, don't do it. <laughs> you find like the weirdest things funny. I don't know how else to explain it. You didn't tell me about these questions so I couldn't prepare. Um, would you rather know when you're gonna die or how you're gonna die? Ew, neither. I know, I'm kind of grossed out by that, honestly. I would probably prefer when versus how, because if I knew how, I'd probably try to prevent it as much as possible and I wouldn't like be able to live. Yeah, You're probably. gonna die December 5th. Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Cursed. <laughs> I'm gonna add some dimension. I probably won't be able to do it with the other palette, but I'm gonna add some dimension here. What's the craziest conspiracy theory you believe in? I think the craziest one I believe in is that the government's just lying to us about everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> that just sounded so blunt. Yeah, like, everything. Well, like, the craziest thing we probably both believe in is that 9-11 didn't happen the yeah. way we think it did. It definitely happened, but we we kind of fell deep into some videos. It's pretty scary. Like honestly. a plan. It was like a planned detonation. It's like it's so scary and it's sick. What I hate even about the word conspiracy is that it's so painted as like people just being crazy. But I just kind of look at it as like researching things and just like keeping an open mind to something. Like just because I'm into conspiracy about it doesn't even mean that that's a hundred percent what I believe. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of like oh let me keep an open mind and look into this more because I don't 
know. I've also seen a lot about aliens and that freak me out. Like the government like showing up at people's doors that have claimed to see UFOs. Yeah. That I feel like people be could fake. be just saying that. What got me into conspiracy though was the moon landing. I found like a documentary about it. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like life in general is just weird and like we can't really prove anything. Believe what you want. Who really... Like, how can we prove it all that they've been to space? How That we've been to space? Like, literally a movie set on Area 51. <laughs> I love the Area 51 memes. The peak of my existence. I can't even collect rainwater at my I house. I started doing my other eye. Liv! Yeah, we can swap now. <laughs> Liv actually got me this. It's a milk highlight and it's kind of holographic so i feel like that'll be kind of cute for this i don't know why my face is like so oily today i was gonna say mine is so dry i'm like can we just get a zoom in on my peeled nose cute sorry if our answers are kind of dumb what cartoon character slash anime character resembles your personality the most Ooh, i like this question there's my first eye finished and i feel like it looks kind of weird there's yeah my first eye pretty much finished i'm camera. gonna speak for you for a second i feel like an anime character that sums you up is aizawa in my hero academia i, I was feel like that's say, literally you that's i get shit done but i'm just chronically tired i can't speak about myself because i feel conceited like <laughs> I'm kind of a badass. <laughs> I relate to that, but if you're Aizawa, well, then I'm probably All Might when he's like deflated. Yeah, she's All Might. People think that I'm cool, but then I'm actually just like kind of lame. I want to know where my sponge is up your ass. <laughs> These are so different. It's not even funny. I don't even know what color UFO is. Like what color is that? <laughs> it's like puke. This is not going very well. Like look how bad this- I actually almost like the $5 palette better. This, this has no pigment. I'm using the same brush and everything. Look at that. It literally- <sighs> I love your face. It was like- <laughs> I also look like the Pokemon Hariyama. That's um, a mood. I also look like Patrick Star. Well then I'm SpongeBob. Adria Squidward. <laughs> the pigment of this green looks pretty good on my finger. It's not coming up at all on me. I feel like this look just isn't cute. Like I almost like how this green looks better. I feel like these blended better well, a little bit. We're probably gonna take it all off and redo our makeup. Honestly, you can definitely work with this after using Jeffree Star. You're like, where's the pigment? Memories of your teenage years. <sighs> I don't think your viewers want to know about my teenage years. I'm just gonna say that like being an adult is kind of better. There's some things it's give and take, but for me, I was very self aware that it was kind of dumb how everybody knew where they were going after high school and I had no idea. How I can't is this relate. even real life? Like, it's like an episode of Degrassi. Like, like, that's how I always felt. And I feel like even in TV shows, they sort of portray it in this way that, like, everybody just has their life figured out. Like, the characters, like, even in... De I'm watching Degrassi now, by the way. It almost... They make it seem like even the characters, like, know exactly where they want to go. Like, Holly J talking about going to freaking Yale. I'm like, I don't even know where Yale is. My interest in high school and middle school are so different now. Like what I thought I wanted to do then right. versus what I wanted to do now. If I had to make a decision what I was gonna do the rest of my life at 18, I think I would be miserable yeah. right now. I don't know, it's like you go from at 18, you have to ask permission to do everything to like you have to decide your whole life. And it's just like, I, like, I really don't know where that crossover is. It just feels like a lot all at once. My best advice if you're still in middle school and high school, it sounds cliche, but try things that you think you don't like. Okay, but I just used this purple <laughs> highlighter and I feel like it's like slaying. Um, can I use that? Yeah. Maybelline coming through with the holographic yeah, highlighter? Maybe it's Maybelline. Okay. I'm just gonna go on a tangent right now of people that leave like such creepy weird comments. There's this one account that keeps asking me, can I armpit fart? And I feel like they've been asking for like three freaking years and it's like, no, she can't. First of all, that's just weird. If you're just genuinely curious and you just ask it in an odd way sure that's weird to like keep asking yeah that's what i'm saying if it was a one-time thing i wouldn't care but it's like why have you been asking me this for three years i'm not gonna do it i feel like i've done it in a past video though all right well if she did it in a past video try to find it i definitely look like an alien this looks 
This looks kind of bad. I'm ready for another question. Okay. If you had the opportunity, would you actually go through Area 51? If I wasn't like breaking and entering, if it somehow changed, I was like, oh, people can come take tours. I feel like I definitely would want to, but. But then by then they'd probably stage it. Like they'd probably Yeah. Go, you can cut out me, just <laughs> stand. I'm kind of not the kind of person to go like, to like just break the rules. If I'm not to, meant to be somewhere, I'm not gonna be there. I'm too afraid of getting in trouble, honestly. If I knew I wouldn't get in trouble, I would do it. But, yeah. But, I mean, it's just like, I, I have such a fear of getting yelled at and in trouble. That's like why I've stayed so, like, straight edge my whole life. Because just like, me. I can't get in trouble. I can't do it. I hate it when I get in trouble. But I'm actually, like, terrified of getting in trouble. I'm kind of liking how this looks now. I might not even take this off today, honestly, cause I, just because I don't feel like doing my makeup again, but... Look at how different my eyes are. I don't feel like they look crazy different. Oh, well, the purple does. Like, I love these colors together, but it's just not the same. I like that green. Wait, is that from the Hot Topic palette? This Which eye? One? Yeah. I like that green. That's, I don't like the green on my inner corner. Like, <laughs> looks Maybe like poop water. Maybe I should change my eyebrows to green. Ew. I'm gonna try to go in with abduction. I should just just <laughs> black out my eyes. <laughs> like, wait, you're actually like eyeball? No, like just around it. Oh. Okay, this on top of the pink is looking terrible. It looks like orange. Like, do you see that? The color is so well, bad. Yeah, it looks more like you're doing like a rainbow on your eyes. I brought lashes. Lashes fix everything. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. If you mess up on the whole thing, just... Lashes will tie it together for sure. Should I do my liner and then lashes do you usually do that in that order um that's i feel like that's how i usually do it i do everything and save the lashes yeah for do last. the liner first i'm just gonna go out on a limb and say i'm never doing this look ever again <laughs> Ugh, i want to put some of the jeffree star palette on my other eye i know me too can we cave and do it <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, we need to finish the eye looks first <sighs> Finish right, the we'll loop. do it we'll do it after finish the loop i was about to just do it and not say anything <laughs> Funny. Yes. <laughs> Funny back to school stories. My first day of fifth grade, I almost got puked on. Terrible. I was this close. We were in line going to an assembly and he was right behind me and I shifted to hold the door open for the rest of my class and he puked right where I stood. <laughs> I would have had to go home on <laughs> That's probably why I had such bad attendance that year. I think I've already told the story of when my friend and I in eighth grade bought a soda and the whole day we were contemplating throwing it out the bus window on our way home. Like that was the plan. We just went off of each other and it was just bad to the point where she got kicked off my bus because we were just such troublemakers. Why do I like this eye better though? I know, like I oddly kind of like my... The I feel like this I could wear out because yeah. it is so like neutral. Like, I was just kind of testing the waters with this eye and the colors are a little too dark, I think. So that's Jeffrey. That's the Galactic. I don't have many funny back to school stories because my... You okay? <laughs> we kind of struggled with school, honestly. First off, I hate the fact that I was so depressed. Growing up is just kind of sucky, honestly. I, I wish I had all the knowledge and like like self-awareness that I have now back then. You don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, like I didn't, I guess maybe it was the fact that I didn't have a, an end goal that it just felt like everything was kind of pointless. Yeah. Maybe the fact that everybody knew where they were going was how they succeeded. <clears throat> I even kind of feel like that now. Like if I have an end goal for something, I feel like it makes it more enjoyable. Yeah. More I think that's also really tied into depression because for me in high school, it was so hard for me to picture anything on a bad day. It's like, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. So it's like, how am I supposed yeah. to plan out like 20 years from now, right? And honestly, when in doubt, just put some false eyelashes on and everything will be fine. It's gonna be all right, demonetized. I'm very simple to please. I'm someone who doesn't sit there like, I'm bored. I would rather just sit in the same room with someone yeah. than, than go out and try to do something. Don't worry about getting demonetized because every little thing 
gets demonetized. What does it even matter at this point? I have a question for Adria that the viewers might want to know. Oh, what? What's your guilty pleasure YouTube videos to watch right now? Like, what's your favorite Ooh. channel, your favorite YouTuber right now? Okay, I'm gonna be like totally honest. I'm very into like, it sounds so weird, but I found like a lot of blind people on YouTube and I find it so interesting because I've never actually met a blind person. So for me, like I found Tommy Edison recently. I and love him. Yeah. I, I think I've seen every video on his channel. Like I just love him so much. And I watch Six Blind Kids and of course I watch Molly Burke and I just I find her. it so interesting because it's just a perspective that we can't ever understand. Stand, and it makes me appreciative for even just being able to see. That's like my guilty pleasure. It's kind of a wholesome guilty pleasure, but yeah, that's <laughs> it's kind of like me. Yeah. I follow a lot of ASL YouTubers, people that sign, signed with heart. She does really good videos. Obviously, everybody knows Niall DeMarco. I know how to sign, so it's it's cool to like refresh yourself and and learn new things or like things that you probably didn't learn one year of ASL. My guilty pleasure at the moment is actually Smosh videos. Ooh, let's talk about YouTubers we don't watch anymore for tea. And not even to like be like mean, but just like people that we've fallen off with, I guess. Well, I used to watch Britney Louise Taylor a lot. Like she was one of my favorites that I fell off of. Them doing the same thing over and over again that you're kind of like, like, okay. I'm kinda over it. This is, okay, I never thought I would like say this out loud, but I kinda fell off with like Graveyard Girl. Yeah, and not, I've been off of that for a while. I find myself not, cause I'm still subscribed. Like, you know, like when you're subbed to someone and you just see their videos come up and you're like, there's no way I'm watching that. <laughs> Yeah, I like easy watching things, like things I don't really have to think too hard about. Just for something funny, I look like a clown. Clown check. <laughs> Maybe you should become a YouTuber, Liv. I mean, I've thought about it, tried. I just don't think I'm that interesting. I think people are more interesting than they think they are. Cause there's a lot of people that are like, I want to do YouTube, but I don't know what I do it about. And it's just like, you can do it about literal bullshit. I think even just being yourself, people like just seeing someone that's like just being themselves because it kind of just feels like making a friend in a way. I'm also just gonna go on a limb and say that like I kind of hate applying fake eyelashes which is why I never wear them. Amen. Like, well, just... Yeah that's why I've had those for literally five years. And <laughs> I've never used Have them. you really? Yeah. This is a three-in-one rose water and primer thing and it's kind of lit and it smells really good. I would love to do the story time where I dated a 34 year old. Well, went out on a date with a 34-year-old. Yeah, see, that would be interesting to make a video about. I well, like, I would come on your that. channel and spill the tea, but... Because you and my period horror story series, I was thinking of, like, having, like, guests on to, like, talk about, like, their first period. <laughs> funny, funny period experiences they have. Oh, God. I thought God. that would be kind of fun. Yeah, I, I have... I have plenty to offer in that department for sure. So if you want Liv to come back, give this video a thumbs up and maybe we'll do that like on a weekend or something or whenever you're free. Okay. Our mother's FaceTiming me. Should I answer? Sure. Hello. <laughs> so what did you think of the palettes, Liv? Well, I've been using the Alien palette for a while now, so I might be biased, but the Alien palette by Jeffree Star definitely has a lot more pigment. However, I think the Galactic palette definitely has potential. I think the colors, the fact that they aren't so pigmented makes them e easier to yeah, wear. Yeah, I was gonna say, it was pretty easy to work with and for five bucks. Is that the tea? Did this come first? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe someone knows the answer. To but that. when you really think about it, aliens, like how different of a palette can an alien a palette be, right? Right. I think that we did okay. Do you want like to do a close up of your final product? I ended up putting the alien palette on both eyes just because this eye was so dark. You did? I, I cheated. I, I kind of cheated as well. I put a little bit of um, the green from the Jeffree Star in the middle, but that's really the only thing that I changed. I just kind of just put the color over. We cheated. It looks fine. I'm not gonna take Speak it off. Speak for yourself. I look like shit. I feel like an alien queen. I'm ready for this. Oh! <laughs> Did you hear yeah, that? what was that? <laughs> it was my elbow. So thank you guys for tuning in. 
Join us next time where I'm gonna buy a ballerina outfit and try to teach myself ballet. <laughs> Should I bring Liv back for period horror stories featuring Liv? I, you told me one not too long ago about you at school, but we won't spoil it. Okay. If I know which one you're talking about, I don't know if that's shareable, but you guys comment if you want to hear it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I love how you're just like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> TikTok at Livy is killing it, and I'm active on Instagram. We'll see you guys again real soon. Until then, keep Panda I usually throw in a piece of advice now. It's like my new ending thing. What's your life advice, Liv? My piece of advice? Don't date someone that's 12 years older than you. <laughs> Pandogs, love you guys. <gasps> Goodbye. <laughs> Don't date someone that's 12 years old. <laughs> I love how, like, you didn't even have to think about it. No, I knew exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs>